All this is my fault. My flesh and blood dead because I wouldn't listen. But that's not your concern. Will you go after the Sylvanar next? Jossiger. That's where the chieftain sent our warriors to lie in wait. If the Sylvanar's held by our clan, he will be there. I need your help. I'm the Sylvanar, the spiritual advisor to... Why, it's you! Wonderful! Wood Orcs from Juthsuga have captured me, and I don't know why. I'm loath to impose upon your aid yet again, but I have nowhere else to turn. Yes, I remember you. A familiar face is a welcome one in dire times. You see, I'm trapped in Juthsuga and need assistance to free myself and those captured with me. Thank you. The gods know I could use your help. It's taking all my energy to maintain this projection. The Drablog captured me and my traveling companions. They're holding us prisoner in Juthsuga. I need you to rescue my advisors. They can tell you more about the attack and perhaps help you free me from my prison. I am being weakened by some powerful magic. They won't be much use to you as fighters, but they're very clever. My advisors are my confidants, my bodyguards. They fill multiple roles. We were en route to my wedding with the Green Lady. When the Drublog attacked, they were slain or taken. Two survived, Ryan and Saria. A warrior. He's my military advisor and a bodyguard. He fought hard during the ambush, but was overwhelmed. If you free him, he can advise you how to battle the Drublog. But I fear he was severely wounded and may not be able to fight. The youngest of my advisors. Ambassador Sariel's visions give guidance when those twice her age see no clear path. She could help you find out how to free me. The Drublog used a foul spell to trap me. I've never encountered it before. The same energy prevents anything beyond this Sigic contact. I can't escape without your help. As the Sylvanar, I'm the manifestation of the spiritual strength within every Bosma. But I must join with the Green Lady before my role can be fulfilled. The Drublog attacked my retinue on our way to this ritual. We had no time to ask them why.
The Sylvanar? Where is he? Have you seen him? Thank Ifri, he's alive then. We could have beat the Drablog ambushers, but they brought in a creature. Huge, ugly, nothing we did hurt it. It wasn't a Drablog, it stank of sulfur. It could have been an Ogrim, though my experience with such creatures is thankfully limited. Somehow, it kept the Sylvanar from using his power to escape. I couldn't say. I fought back, but the Drablog warriors hit me over the head. Everything went blurry, and I woke up here with Sariel. Perhaps she saw more. Please, don't worry about me. You must rescue the Sylvanar. He did? You've seen the Sylvanar? Praise Ifre! They attacked us on the road. Rayan fought the Drablog ambushers, but they knocked him out cold. I was no help, but I saw everything. The Drablog shaman chanted words from a ritual book, and energy flowed from the Sylvanar into these giant crystals. The shaman kept chanting as they carried the Sylvanar away, but we were separated from him. Please, we have to get that book and stop the ritual. I didn't see it clearly at the time, but I've had visions of it ever since. It's a ritual of unbinding. I could feel the Sylvanar's energy slipping away, as if he were being drained of his very nature. I've never felt anything so cold or evil. If we get to the hand fast, it'll be a miracle. When we find the Sylvanar, will you be able to get us all out of here? I have a strange foreboding. Not all of us will leave Drossina alive. Once we get what we need, it'll be up to you. That's it. The ritual of unbinding. Be careful. The Drablog used it when they attacked us. The Sylvanar weakened when the shaman read from it. We keep it out of their hands. And now we've got to find the runestone too. The shaman used it and the book together. It's a ritual focus. The Drablog used it against the Sylvanar. Remember I said they drained his energy into crystals? The runestone is the conduit. With it, we can reverse the ritual and give back the energy. There are two Daedric shrines within Jothsugur. We found the book at this one, so I bet the runestone is at the other. The second shrine is on the other side of their fortress. They wouldn't want to make it easy for anyone to recover both items.
I know we don't have time, but I should rest. Please, slacken your pace. Ambassador Rayan is hurt badly. To hide! That lodge there! Let's get inside! We need to take the book and the stone somewhere safe so you can examine them. We can't stay out in the open, and the longhouse we were being held in is probably teeming with Drablog. There was another longhouse south of that one. Maybe we could try going there. I'm sorry. To think I, I was excited to accompany the Sylvanar. My wounds are too great. According to Sariel, that book says the price of saving the Sylvanar is one of our lives. Good. We should pay for our failure. It's a hard choice, but a simple one. It's my duty to die protecting the Sylvanar. I failed once, so badly I can't fight anymore. 
The Sylvanar needs advisors like Sariel. I was so helpful till now. No, I've seen you fight. If anyone can get the Sylvanar out of here, it's you. And Sariel. She's young, but wise. The Sylvanar needs such advisors, not near-dead warriors. Sacrifice me. Try it, and the last thing you see will be me wresting it from your hands. Sariel and I can't get the Sylvanar out of here. Only you can. Let one of us do what you can't. Don't fail the Sylvanar. I understand what needs to be done. Read the book. One of us must die to save the Sylvanar. Frankly, that's a lower price than I expected. Daedric rituals often come at such a cost. Obviously, I should be sacrificed. I'm the weakest of us. When the Droblog attacked, Rayan fought back while I was captured straight off. I'm an advisor, not a warrior. The Sylvanar needs warriors. If you think I'm a good advisor, listen. Freeing the Sylvanar won't be enough. His power's drained. The Drawblog guarding him won't just let him walk out. Rayan can help you. Use the runestone on me. No! Rayan's good in a fight, but even his skill pales before yours. If you use the runestone on yourself, the Sylvanar will be restored, but weak and in his enemy's hands. Don't throw your life away! I didn't think it would be like this! The pain! Ah! <sighs> By the pack, that was horrible. I could feel his spirit energy draining away. I can't believe you chose to sacrifice Rayan, but I won't waste his gift. I'll do whatever I can to rescue the Sylvanar and help you. Earlier, when we were running through the compound, I noticed four rays of light coming from the towers surrounding the main building. I think those are coming from the binding stones. We need to disrupt them to stop the ritual. The rune stone. When Rayen was sacrificed, it changed into a rune key. If you invoke its power against the binding stones, you'll sever their connection to the ritual. Sever all four and the energy drain will cease. The Sylvanar will be free, but weak. I can use my visions to get out of Josiga, so you don't have to worry about me. I've also recovered enough energy to invoke my spirit totem. It will follow you until you leave Josiga, aiding you as it can. My totem spirit will fight, but it is most useful in that it can heal your wounds. Just stay close to it and the energy it manifests will help you recover in battle. I wish I could do more to honor Rayan's sacrifice.
I can see my prison, the fortress on the hill. Come up. It's good to finally see you with my own eyes. Thank you for rescuing me, but our trials are not over. The Binding Stones affected my connection to the Bosma. I must get back everything they took from me. Give me time. The Drablog and the Houndsmen can't have missed your disruption of the Binding Stones. They'll be here soon, driven by Chief Nargoth. Keep them back while I regain the energy they stole from me. Only then can we leave. Just the first group. More are coming. Almost done. Protect me a little while longer. Houndsman and the Drublog? Working together to destroy my connection to the land. I can't believe it. Thankfully, you saved me. I agree. I've recovered sufficient magicka to create a portal out of Jathsaga. Are you ready to go? After I teleport out, I'll leave the portal open as long as I can. We'll meet again outside, beyond the reach of the Drublog. Don't wait too long. The portal won't stay up forever, and I wouldn't be surprised if more Drublogs show up down here soon. Hmm. 
Events are spiraling out of control. And as the spinners say, we've left the story. Without you, neither I nor my ambassador would have gotten out of Jothsago. I will be. It seems I can only trust you and my last ambassador. I must get to the town of Sylvanar and the Green Lady quickly. As soon as my Magicka returns, we'll be on our way. Yes. With all you did inside Jothsaga, I think the Drablog threat is finished. I can deal with any stragglers who come my way. But I can't wait too long. Dalinir and my other guards sent word that I should get to the city of Sylvanar. I'd like you to come to our wedding. You deserve an invitation. Look for me or Dalinir when you reach town to get it. Besides, I don't think we've heard the last of the Hound. You may encounter his minions along the way, or even in Sylvanar. Now that I'm aware of the danger, I can protect myself and those around me. I won't be caught by the same trick twice. The Drablog shamans and the traitorous houndsmen conspired to drain my power and sever my ties to the Bosma. They used an ancient Daedric ritual, catching me unprepared. It won't happen again. A powerful Hercene worshipper known as the Hound. He wants to usurp my place beside the Green Lady. He's a Bosma. I sense his pain and recognize his anger now. This isn't the first time he's attacked. Stand with me and you'll run afoul of him too. The town of Sylvanar. There I'll wed the Green Lady and join my spiritual essence with her physical power. It's a ritual that happens once a generation, and it will happen again soon. I won't let the Sylvanos stay a minute longer than necessary. As soon as he's ready, we'll be gone. My friend, I was certain you'd arrive, and it's a good thing you did. All is not well in Sylvanar. The city is closed against me. The ancient wards and guardians all see me as hostile. I could force my way inside, but that might hurt the people of Sylvanar. This is supposed to be a celebration, not a war. 
I'll need your help once again. The city is sealed against me. Something I would not have thought possible. It would take the power of... Of course! The three spinners! They could do it, if they were forced by someone powerful. Someone like the Hound. Yes, that Hercene worshipper wants to keep me from the Handfast. My scouts saw his houndsman in the ravine below, bearing silver shards that radiate magicka. Can you wrest the shards from them? They're key to unlocking the city, and this puzzle. I believe those silver shards are physical manifestations of stories woven by the Bosma's three most powerful spinners. If you take them from the houndsman in the ravine below, we'll know for certain. We've run afoul of him before. The Hound was behind the trouble in Drabul and my kidnapping and imprisonment in Juthsaga. He wishes to supplant me as the Green Lady's rightful consort. We have to stop him for the sake of the Bosma people. As I said, they are creations of Sylvanar's three great spinners. I'm certain the Houndsmen are using them to turn the wards of the city to their master's evil purpose, to help him keep me from the Green Lady. Of course, there are other defenses. In addition to the wards, there is the Guardian of Sylvanar, an elemental creature that patrols the bridge. He will be compelled to act against us by the same magic that turns the wards. You must defeat him after you recover the shards. I don't know, but she must be inside the city. If she were anywhere else, I'd be able to sense her presence. My fear is that the Hound has trapped her in some way similar to the way he kept me in Juthsaga. Perhaps the shards are part of that trap. The Sylvanar needs help if we're ever going to get to this wedding. Men are in the ravine below. I'm here to make certain they don't come up and attack the Sylvanar's camp. Desperate, we definitely need your help. The Sylvanar told us there's some sort of mystic barrier keeping them out of the city. I can't see it, but I do see the helmsmen in the ravine below, carrying those damn silver shards. That's good. If you want the silver shards, you should go through the chasm between here and the city to collect them. Come back up this way when you have enough. I'll check with the Sylvanar to see what you need to do next. Continue down the slope. The Houndsmen patrol the ravine, carrying those shards and looking for loyalists who escaped the city. Anyone on the Sylvanar's side is their prey. Please, I need you. Come here, quickly.
You've got the silver shards? Good. Keep them close. I don't know what they're for, but they've got to be important. But before that, you've got to defeat the Guardian of Sylvanar. It patrols the bridge between here and the city. It's not an evil creature, but a bound spirit tied to the wards that protect the city. Defeating it won't destroy it completely. In fact, it will probably reform soon after but it will temporarily sever its connection to the wards. It'll give the Sylvanar an opening to project his will into the city. The Sylvanar, remember, is the spiritual essence of the Bosma. If he can extend his essence inside the city, he can help unravel the wards. But you'll still need the spinners. They're somewhere inside the city. The Sylvanar can't sense them with the wards intact, but once the Guardian's defeated, he'll be able to extend his perceptions into the city, however briefly. Quickly, you've defeated the Guardian, but it will return soon. You need to get inside the city and locate the three spinners. I sense they're being held in the trees within the city. The bonds of Hercene surround them, however, so you can't go directly to them. You'll need to learn about the spinners and their prisons in order to free them. All I know are their names. Spinner Enrel, Spinner Carolyn, and Spinner Dothriel. This is my first visit to the city, and until the Handfast, my connection with the Bosma is incomplete. I know how you can learn about the Three Spinners, but it will be dangerous. Question the ones who bound them. 
the houndsman's witches worked with their master to craft special prisons for each spinner. Force the witches to tell you everything they know about the bindings and locations of the three spinners. Once you've learned about... I'm filled with dread. I'm getting out of here. No! It wasn't my fault! Please, don't kill me. You don't understand. Yes, but we didn't hurt them. Please, I'll tell you everything I know if you just let me go. I... I was there when the youngest of them, Spinner Einrel, was taken. I can tell you about her. Just promise you won't kill me. Spinner Einrel is the youngest of the three. She acted like she knew she was going to be taken. They imprisoned her in her home, surrounded by all her nature totems and strange-smelling herbs. Her essence focuses on the future of the Bosma people as she sees it. Naturally, she believes in the love between the Green Lady and the Sylvanar breaking through the shadow of the Hound. The exact solution to the puzzles is a mystery even to us. All is not well. Have mercy, please. I'll help you. You can't kill me. Don't you know who I am? It was the Hound. He forced us. I saw him capture Spinner Carolyn. The Spinner's in his prime and let the Hound know he'd fight him with all his strength. But the Hound still bound the Spinner, right in his home. The Warrior Spinner focuses on the present. 
he sees a great battle with the Green Lady and the Hound to bring her to her true lord, the Sylvanar. His barns are tied to that site, and the spinner already claims victory. He laughed as we bound him. The spinner acted as if he knew what was going on everywhere in Malabal Tor. He told the Hound that a hero was on his way, and that the Sylvanar wouldn't be locked out of the city much longer. Could he have meant... Oh no, he meant you! To this madness. No, it can't end like this. He promised. The spinners defied the hound, so he bound them with elements of their own strengths. He even bound Spinner Dothriel, the strongest of the three. She'll grow even older in her prison. She's in her home and hardly noticed us. She lives in the past, seeing patterns of ancient times replaying today. With the Bosma surviving, and the Hound dead, she spoke as if it had already happened. She also said that each spinner has the key to his or her own release, even if they can't affect it. Please, please let me go. I'll leave the city forever. I sense that you've completed your task. You've questioned the houndsman witches about the spinners and their bonds. When you defeated the Guardian, I projected more of my essence into the city. I've learned something about each spinner and their bonds. They're being contained by puzzles that tap into each spinner's essence. The hound is using alien stones to imprison each spinner. The key to each puzzle is tied to each spinner's essence that their very spirits power the barrier keeping me out of the city. Solve the puzzles, free the spinners, and open the barrier. Yes, if you fail to solve a puzzle, a manifestation of that spinner's spirit will appear. Kill it and the barriers will fall, but at the cost of a spinner's life. Try to solve the puzzles and free the spinners, not kill them. Spinner Enrel is the youngest. She's a master alchemist, and her purview is the future. She foretells many things with her prophecies. Try to assemble her history in the solution to her puzzle. Spinner Carolyn was a powerful warrior before the Spinner's Path found him. He is blessed with a keen awareness of the present. His perception of things happening here and now, particularly regarding the hand fasting, should be the key to solving his puzzle. She is the eldest and most powerful spinner, a wizard almost from birth. She sees the past more clearly than you and I see the present. She draws parallels between then and now. Use that in solving her puzzle. Each has a home surrounding the great tree. Go up from here, then cross the tree bridges and climb up further still to their homes. Search the spinner's homes for clues to solving each puzzle. Return here after you've broken their bonds.